so very very good morning to you welcome back to eclipse motorcycles the final test ride today of the royal alloy gp 300 s and just that final look around the bike before we hand over to customer in the next couple of days and what an amazing scooter this has been been an absolute pleasure to ride this one absolutely no issues with this bike whatsoever and you never normally do with a royal alloy absolutely built to perfection and I do love all the badging on this got that nice royal alloy badge to the back and the trim quality finish on this is absolutely superb all those rubber foot plates that you've got there finished off with a nice decorative end cover with the screw in it really is built to perfection this one we're going to take this out we're going to put the final 10 miles on this bike just popping it off the main stand ignition on and the one thing I do like about this and I keep going on about this is this royal alloy key you get a lovely first key and the second key they send you it's just a plasticky one I would have liked to have had two decent royal alloy keys but they give you one nice key and then obviously your spare key is a plastic one now I did inquire as to whether you could get these royal alloy keys as a second one you could get a second one with the royal alloy logo and they said, no we actually issue you with another plastic key so it's a little bit of a downer on that one but this scooter is absolutely perfection what a lot of people are doing is going and having custom made keys with a big royal alloy badge on them you can buy them um, there are loads on the trading site there are loads from uh, aftermarket dealers as well where you can get yourself a really nice royal alloy badge and go and get the key cut but didn't like the fact that the second key that you come with this bike is just a plasticky one so it's a bit of a downer on this but this bike is absolutely superb love this little scooter to pieces now I'm not a scooter lover but I'm absolutely loving being on this one this is absolute perfection nice grip from those bars very very short on the bars as you would expect from a scooter the braking on it is just superb very crisp very responsive you know exactly what is going on with these Royal Alloys and obviously being a 300 this thing does get up to speed very very quickly so just winding the power on and just holding that throttle response that's up to 45 already and obviously with the Royal Alloys they are pre-running but for the purposes of my ride testing I never overstretch a bike's response I do like to take it easy on an engine and just run that bike in nice and effective so I'm going to do a maximum of 45 miles an hour as I normally do on every bike but being a 300 it's going to absolutely chomp away at that speed so very very good we're going to come in on the combined braking this time and that really pulls down now this does have ABS on it as well and as you can see from the car in front, them headlights are very, very bright. It's lighting up his number plate very, very effectively. So, lovely bright headlights on this. They are LED. And we're just going to uh, push this out into traffic. Quick blast down the dual carriageway. I've only got about eight miles to put on this bike as my final test mileage. But just winding it up to speed. And that torque off of that engine is absolutely superb. So once running, this is going to be an exceptional scooter just for going out and having your meets and going out and enjoying it with other scooter riders. Seating position on this, compared to anything else, it's very, very high seating position, but you can flat foot your feet and there is loads and loads of leg room down there. I've got ample to stretch my legs out, so I'm not cramped up on this bike like you would be with other scooters. Very comfortable from that nice king and queen seat they've got on this one and this GP300 does put a smile on your face especially when you go into town and everybody starts looking at it this is an attention grabber this is the sort of thing that grabs you by the front and throat and says uh, I'm a royal alloy look at me so a very very lovely bike this one and I, as I said I have loved every minute of being on this absolutely beautiful and uh, keeping up with traffic it is very very quick obviously I've just uh, been nattering away look down I am doing 51 so I'm just going to back it off just a little bit 
it does tend to run away with you if you're not keeping your eye on that speedo with that 300 cc engine it does run away with you so obviously for the purpose of my ride test i'm trying to keep it as low as possible but it has already been pre-run in with the royal alloys but uh, obviously i like to as i say take my time on a new engine nice and steady just so that you don't get any issues mirrors are nice and wide as well on this one so i can see all the traffic behind me and very very easy just to use that pass light just to flash the lorries in as well a nice view of the road behind me and obviously yeah there are aftermarket add-on mirrors that you can get with this bar end mirrors or you can get a slightly higher mirror these mirrors are set quite low compared to other scooters but it does give me a very very nice view of the road behind and I have tried to source some bar end mirrors for this and there are none listed for the Royal Alloy on the MotoGP website so maybe something that they want to uh, think about getting some uh, aftermarket mirrors on their website as the add-ons now they obviously is a big scooter company down toward Oxford that deals in a lot of scooters and obviously they do all the Royal Alloy aftermarkets and probably the best thing that I love about these is the Scorpion cans that they have for these so the Scorpion exhausts they do come in a uh, black carbon or you come in the stainless steel and it does just improve that engine note on this bike final five miles and I'd love to go and do some more on this I would really love to do a long-term test ride on this but obviously we're going to speak to customers about this when we do get some in for service in they'll clock the mileage we'll go out we'll do a little uh, ride test and just see what the longevity of these Royal Alloys is like and obviously a lot of the scooter clubs in Milton Keynes I'd say about 50% of those have Royal Alloy scooters and they've never had issues. The only issue they do seem to get, and it tended to be on the uh, 125s, was that the Speedos had a habit of stopping. And it was, neither, uh, it was either a clock issue or a Speedo sender unit. And it uh, tended to be quite a bit of a thing at the beginning of when they first brought the Royal Alloys out quite a lot of them have a clock issue but obviously they've redesigned the clocks sorted all that issue out parts are just starting to come through but obviously due to uh, covid and what's going on parts are getting a little bit hard to source at the moment but normally you can get parts pretty darn quick with the royal alloy range so we're going to hook into the second dual carriageway, second lane, so, and just wind this up. You've got it to not keep up with the traffic. Really does handle well, especially on these little tyres. And I'm just loving being on this. So fun a few miles to put on this bike. And then we're going to take it in we're going to give it the obligatory coat of the acf 50. make sure it's all nice and shiny for when the customer comes to collect and just folding it through the roundabout it does hold a very nice line no drift from the wheels no handling issues at all But the torque of that engine just giving it a little bit of beans and that really pulls well so coming in on front brake both brakes really really effective on this one and i do like the fact that this does have abs on it as well very very easy to use the indicators and this has got a lovely loud horn on it which i will demonstrate when i've got the cars out of the way because otherwise they're going to think that i am uh, tooting them But even on your town route, and if you've seen the first video, I do take this around town a little bit, down the back roads. Even around town, it's very, very easy and very, very manoeuvrable, even at slow speed. So, find a couple of miles to add on. So, just to uh, do my uh, 
thing that I normally do on bikes which I call reach and I normally mark my bikes out of 50 rideability on this oh my god I've had such a blast being out on this and I've got such a grit on my face this morning rideability I'm going to give it the full 10 out of 10 economy it's 300 cc engine so you should be able to get some decent mileage out of this obviously uh, go and check the websites out to find out uh, what your miles per gallon are some bikes do differ and obviously they give an average on this but it depends if you're riding it hard or if you're being a little bit of a plodder like me that just likes to take their time so your miles per gallon may change they may go up they may go down but economy I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I'm loving it. Affordability. It is very, very pricey for one of these. It's a very, very pricey bike. And we're just going to uh, do a little bit more back route on this one. So affordability. On this. Obviously these are just short. Of the 5 gram mark. So... Is a lot of a lot of money, but it is a hell of a lot of bike. A hell of a lot of bike. Comfort, I can't fault this. It's lovely and high. The seat is absolutely beautiful. It's a very, very crispy seat on this. So comfort on this, I'm gonna give that another ten. Handling on this, I can't fault it. Even on these little short bars, it's very, very maneuverable. And I'm just going to put this over a speed bump just to show you one more time how good that suspension is. So a couple of speed bumps coming up once again over the speed bump. And that is just soaking up those bumps. So the handling on this, 10 out of 10, 50 out of 50, Royal Alloy. You have got yourself a gorgeous scooter. Now obviously they've got the TG version of this, which has got that bigger front mudguard on it. Now I'm not a lover of uh, big mudguards on bikes. I do like my retros, but... The mudguard on the TG, it's not to my liking, it is to other people's. They like the old-fashioned look because it looks more like the old Lambrettas and Vespas. I prefer this GP300S, but it's just aesthetics. Each person has their own individual preferences and choices. But 50 out of 50 on this one, and I am absolutely in love with this bike. It really is nice. So the final half a mile to go on and we're going to make our way back to the garage and we do have quite a few of these royal alloys in stock we've got the 125s in gp300s at the moment are very very hard to source but if you are into a royal alloy give the guys at eclipse motorcycles a call 01908 643603 as always social media you can find it all off of my website redbomb.co.uk Eclipse Motorcycles on the first page, link to the Facebook page, link to the website. My social media is on the last page for my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and the Facebook. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up or the thumbs down. Please like and subscribe to my page. I would love to get to you following me to see what I do a little bit more. So if you did enjoy it, let us know. Comments below as always. Let us know what you think, and on behalf of RB, Revbom, be well, ride safe, as we head back to Eclipse, it's a nice, big, smiley goodbye from me.